Good morning, guys. Um, today, we're going to be using that same technique that we used yesterday for those six basic shapes, except we're going to make it a little bit more difficult, and we are going to be doing some lettering today. All right. So we're just going to do two letters today. One we're going to do together, and then you guys could decide what that second letter is going to be uh, and practice on your own a little bit. So same thing as yesterday. We're going to need a pencil, a sheet of paper, and then hopefully a ruler, if not a ruler, any kind of straight edge. Again, you could use a magazine, a piece of cardboard, piece of plastic, anything that has a straight edge that you can make a straight line with, right? Um, all right, so today we're going to start by just drawing the letter in. We're not going to put the vanishing point in quite yet. So I'm going to be working in the upper left-hand corner. And instead of a square, we're going to make more of a rectangular shape in the corner. Right, and we're going to make this a little bit larger uh, than the shapes we were working with yesterday. Because again, we're only going to be doing two letters. So I want the style of my letter to be a, a bit taller than it is wide. So I'm going to make more of a rectangular shape that's taller than it is wide. Looks pretty good. <clears throat> Alright, so once we have our box drawn in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of build our letter inside of this box. And by doing that, it's going to make sure that everything is a lot straighter and a lot neater. Now, before we start that, it's usually helpful to have a visual to look at so you can kind of figure out how you're going to go about building your letter. So I have this letter A drawn on the, the post-it note here. So the first two lines that we're going to draw in are going to be these outer two edges of the letter that you see here. Okay. So up at the top, you could measure if you have a ruler. If not, you could just kind of eyeball and mark so that we have the same distance on either side. So we're going to make two marks right at the top, and that's going to be the width of the top part of the letter. Once we have that marked in, all you got to do is take your ruler and bring the corner of the box up to that mark on either side. Once we have those two outer edges, now we're going to do two lines that are going to be the thickness of the sides of the letter. So two lines right here. So decide kind of what you want that to look like. Yours might look a little bit different than mine, that's okay. But make sure that it's parallel to the line that we just drew in on either side. So I'll do one there, and I'm going to do the same thickness or width on the other side. Okay. Then we just have three lines to go across. One, two, three. And three. All right, so once we have all our lines drawn in, now we can erase out the part of the box that we are not going to use that we started with. And we could also erase extra parts of the inside that we are not going to use. So we have a solid letter. All right, so now we have our letter. So now, obviously, we got to put that into perspective. Um, so you can kind of figure out where you're going to plan on putting your other letter that you guys are also going to draw in. Uh, so I'm going to probably put mine somewhere in this area. So I'm going to put my vanishing point right down here. So mine is below and to the right. If you put yours in a different area, uh, this is all going to look a little bit different. But as long as you know what you're doing, uh, that'll work just fine. All right, so very similar to yesterday with the basic shapes. Now all we have to do is take the corners of our letter uh, and bring that to our vanishing point. Same thing as yesterday. Um, if the 
corner that we're going to be bringing to the vanishing point cuts across the front of our letter, we're going to leave that one off. Okay? So a lot of these should be pretty obvious which ones we're going to be bringing. All right, so those are really obvious ones, but something that we probably haven't come into account with our basic shapes um, is negative space. So remember, negative space is emptiness or area that's not used up. So looking at the letter, we have negative space in, in this area and also right here. So these are going to act like little windows to where we could see a portion of the line, uh, but not the entire thing. So if we look in this interior corner here, we're going to be able to see part of the line, but then as soon as it runs into the letter itself, we're going to stop the line and we're not going to continue it any further. And again, make sure that we're using the vanishing point. It's got to be going towards the vanishing point. So once it hits the letter itself, we're going to stop that line. We're going to do the same thing in the top corner right up here. Okay. And small little details like that are really going to make uh, a larger difference with making it look a lot more believable. All right, so we have everything in perspective, but just like with those basic shapes, we want to end this before it reaches the vanishing point. And because we have a lot of different angles and we have that negative space, sometimes this could be a little bit tricky. So we're going to start at the bottom where we have the bottom two, we'll call them legs of the A. And so you can see that we're going to be drawing two separate lines. So we can see that this is a horizontal line across at the bottom. So make sure that we stay even with that when we go to end the letter. So I can see that my ruler is parallel to the bottom and I'm gonna draw two separate lines, one here and one here. Those are the same two sections that those lines are in up here, okay? For the side of the letter, we need to create a line that's parallel to this edge. And one thing you could do that sometimes makes it easier is if you put your ruler up against that edge and then just kind of slowly bring it over, making sure you're staying parallel with it, um, and then just slide it over to the point that you need it, that could sometimes help you out. But again, we want our ruler parallel to this edge when we draw in the side of our letter. And then we've got one more line to put in, which would be right down here. So now we need to make sure that we're parallel to this edge right here and then it's also in the right spot so double check that <clears throat> draw on your line and same thing as before we're going to erase out the parts of the line that we don't need anymore making sure that we don't erase the vanishing point because again we're going to be using that same vanishing point for your second letter And we have our first letter in one point perspective, okay? So again, whatever other letter you wanna include on the right, uh, totally up to you. When you're finished, take a photograph and post that into the assignment on Google Classroom, please. All right, have fun, guys.